3,105 pounds as you see it here today with the fiberglass skin upgrade. It'll weigh just a little bit less without that, probably closer to the 3,000 pound mark. A 174 Bunkhouse J Flight SLX coming in here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. What I like about this, it's small, it's simple, it's smart, but it still carries the same best in class two plus three year warranty that all the big bad Jayco's do, which kind of is one of the cool consistency parts of this RV. It's built smaller, not cheaper. Simple, smart, Everything that matters, nothing that doesn't, no nonsense, such as no carpet, are the kind of features that you'll find in these little J-Flight SLXs. They do the things that really matter. The stuff you're going to use, see, feel, touch every single day, they do it here. They do it really well. Like, you have pleated nightshades for all these windows, and you see that you got a lot of windows for a lot of light and a lot of cross breeze, like across that bed right there. Another thing they're very good about here is utilizing every little nook and cranny possible kind of starting with uh, the chunk under the bed here. If we take a look, you can see how you can prop that up to get to some easy access storage there. And then above the bed, you've got a you know full storage cabinet. Now, all of this cabinetry is pocket screwed with hardwood cabinet door frames and the larger cabinet handle pulls. That's the kind of stuff that you typically find in a Big Brother full J flight. And in this smaller classing segment, you will often run into a lot of particle board kind of staple cabinetry. That is not the sort of thing that you'll find here. You'll also find all LED lights, no incandescents. There are still some guys making a camper like this that have incandescent bulbs. Jayco's just not one of them. Um, the, uh, what, oh, skylight up here. That is uh, kind of doubling as a heat exhaust vent. Also very handy if you do want to... Uh, uh, get some airflow rolling in and out if you're not going to use the air conditioner. And this is not a power vent fan, but it is right next to a light fixture. So theoretically, if you did want to upgrade that to a power vent, it's very easy to jump some wiring to make that happen. Understand that may affect your RV's warranty in, in certain uh, segments, but... It is a thing that is very easy to do on this RV. You may notice next to that air conditioner, you see how it does have a privacy curtain and a track that can pull clear across the front of the camper. So if you do want, I mean, it's a tiny box. There's not exactly a ton of privacy going on here, but if you do want to uh, kind of maximize your privacy to, for what you can get, it is possible here. Also very handy if you need to lay on the bed to change a pair of pants or something like that. I also like to point out the fact that this is a larger 8,000 BTU air conditioner. You could theoretically sacrifice this roof vent up here to install a full-size roof air unit, but I don't think you need to. The, uh, the smaller boxes like this, in the Midwest, people are usually okay with a 5K air. Jayco standardized the 8K side mount air years ago so that even Southern and Western customers could be pretty darn comfortable, and it's more than sufficient in this tiny little box that we're looking at right here. Flip it around the other direction, like if you're sitting on the bed looking back, here's one of the things that you might be able to see. Excellent big window over that dining area there, but you see that black box in the upper left corner of that cabinet? That's our entertainment unit. It's a simple Bluetooth stereo, but it does have HDMI expansion, so if you want to plug in something like a Roku stick, you could. Remember, we've got those nightshades all the way around. And this little dining area here can fold down into a single sleeper, roughly the size of one of the bunks. It might be slightly shorter. I'm not exactly sure. I haven't hard measured it. But that's the kind of thing we can do for you. If you're ever curious about a measurement on something, give our team here a call and we're happy to measure it out. Now, as long as we're talking about sleeping, let's go ahead and take a peek at the bunks over here because this is something Jayco does very well. Every single bunk in every single Jayco is rated for at least 300 pounds per sleeping space. These are single sleepers, so it'll be a sing, uh, uh, you know a single sleeper 300 pound rating. But they also use thicker bunk mattresses than most people in this class. Typically, Jayco's bunk mats are about twice as thick as the industry standard. And then as we rotate over here toward the kitchen, this is one of the things they do very well. There's a lot of brands that use a bigger refrigerator in this size of camper, and that's really cool, don't get me wrong. But it does mean that you lose this pantry, and that's why we carry so many different campers here at Haylet RV, so that you can kind of, you know, zero in on the one that works best for you. These look like uh, removable shelves, but they are not. Well, I guess, theoretically, you could manually remove them, but they're not, like, easily removed shelves for what that's worth. Down below here, though, I like how they've arranged this. They did a lot with a little space. Like, they left you some wastebasket space right there, directly below that stovetop. But still some shelves there uh, for things like... <coughs> pardon me. Uh, dish soaps and whatnot. Uh, also, the uh, kind of truck camper style fridge that we're looking at right here, one of the things I like to point out, it is gas and electric. 
It does have a freezer kind of pocket chest in the top of it as well. I think that's something a lot of people don't realize. These little campers do still have a small freezer. Enough to get you through a little weekend like this. Like, I don't think that you're going to really need much more than that. You're, you know, maybe some popsicles for the kiddos or something like that. A little bit of ice cream sandwich action. You'll be good to go. If you are so inclined, you could put a TV against the wall over there. I suspect, however, most people looking at a trailer this size, they're not looking to throw a flat screen into it. I think they're looking to spend their time outside. And this is just where we cook, grab a bite to eat, and then go to sleep. You may also notice how all of these countertops have a sealed edge press membrane. So if you do happen to spill something while you're, you know, prepping or uh, just doing dishes or whatever, no big deal. Wipe it up. Go back to camping. No sweat, no worry. And a quick look at her all closed up before we zip back to that rear bathroom area there. Notice that that is a foot flush toilet. One of the nice things here. This was one of the first series of campers, like when everybody and their brother started making these smaller seven foot wide campers years ago, around the 2012-ish period, um, there were a lot of what were called wet baths where the toilet was in the shower. And Jayco was one of the first, not the first, but one of the first to do dry bathrooms where your toilet and your shower are separate. And very shortly after that, they became the best-selling thing in this little class. And very shortly after that, everybody and their brother said, hey, maybe we ought to build us a bathroom like that. What's cool here, you have another one of those ceiling vents and a full skylight. So this thing gets a lot of light in here. Very handy if you're boondocking and don't want to eat up all your battery power. Handy little thing I stumbled into a couple years ago, a little jack crank rod. You can use that as something of like a bed deck prop, so when you're here in that uh, underbed storage compartment, you can uh, use it sort of as a uh, little budget version of a gas strut assist so that you don't have to like lift and wrestle with those things. As mentioned when we first began our little adventure, industry's best two plus three year warranty, which is pretty much unheard of in a class like this. Jayco has long had the best warranty out there, but there were some folks that would get confused between what a three-year structural warranty was and what a three-year RV warranty was. Mainstream RVs like this don't have a three-year warranty. They had a three-year structural coverage, which could actually be hyper-limited. And Jayco said, you know what? We're going to eliminate all of that. We're going to give folks a two- and three-year warranty. So there's just no more question about it anymore. Seven-foot, easy towing body. So it's easier to see around with your vehicle, less headwind, less, you know, resistance. I always, though, recommend get some towing extension safety mirrors. You will never regret having that feature. Um, again, we are looking at the one today with the obvious fiberglass upgrade versus the um, uh, corrugated aluminum conventional exterior. And someone's going to wonder, wait a minute, why did he say that the fiberglass one weighs more? I thought the fiberglass campers weighed less. They can if they are laminated. This is not a laminated RV. This is still a, uh, a wood skeleton, a studded camper with a uh, fiberglass skin on top of it. The thing is that fiberglass skin is mounted to what is basically uh, like a 3 16 plywood. So you've added a lot of wood around this thing. Uh, we are still running on best in class Goodyear endurance radials rated for up to 87 mile an hour. Although <laughs> You shouldn't really ever be towing something this size, or well, any RV, that speed. Uh, also, above that wheel well, you have a galvanized steel shield, so God forbid, I don't care how good you take care of your tires, you could still theoretically catch debris. And they want to make sure that it's not going to become a problem. Uh, tinted windows is a rather standout quality in this class budget category. That's something a lot of campers won't have for budget reasons, and that's what's great about this. This is that smarter class essentials package, but it does all the things it really needs to really well. Anything you're going to use, see, feel, touch you, that you're guaranteed to need on a camping excursion, it does all that. What's also nice is you have all LED tail and marker lights, as well as reverse travel lighting built into those tail lights. And I almost walked past it again without mentioning it. There's been one, well, there's obviously cosmetically a lot of updates that went into this pro, uh, from the previous generation, but that water heater. It used to be that uh, this small class of J-Flight had a gas-only manual ignition water heater. Uh, you know, then basically all the J-Flights had a different water heater until you got to a really nice one. Now, they all have the really nice one. They all have a uh, six-gallon vessel that is gas and electric and auto ignition and fast recharge. They just standardize their water heater and that right there is something I don't know if anybody else 
in this class is doing that. Frankly, a lot of your um, more starter class eight foot wide trailers are still doing a gas only, sometimes electric ignition water heater. And here you've got something better than this little guy. Um, you can still walk all over the roof. It still has that heavier roof rating that pretty much all Jayco's have. And our power awning here, it's easy tilt. It does have lighting, but a neat little thing is that it has speakers built right into the awning arms. So that logically, when you're outside, if you're going to want to be listening to outside music, you've probably got those uh, that awning open, right? Most of the time, at least. Well, that will point the speakers down toward your campsite and away from the neighbors so that you don't have that uh, angry neighbor filing a noise complaint with the park warden kind of issue, you know, potentially happening there. So if you like what you see, if you appreciate the efforts we're putting in here at Halet RV, all I ask is you give our team the fair opportunity to earn your business in return for those efforts. And short of that, remember, we don't do hidden dealer fees, but we do pretty much everything else. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.